Brain Tech, yeah? Where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has started to notify Windows 10 version 21H1 users that um, the operating system and version 21H1 of Windows 10 will be reaching the end of service on and support on the 13th of December this year, 2022. Now, um, According to Microsoft, this is applying to all versions of Windows 21 H1. So that's Enterprise, Education, Internet of Things, Home Pro, Pro Education, Pro for Workstations. So that's um, all the different versions of, ver of uh, version 21 H1 that will be affected. And um, after the 13th of December um, this year, 2022, um, 21 H1 will no longer receive security updates. And obviously, Microsoft is encouraging users of um, that version of Windows tend to upgrade to the latest version of Windows 10 or if your device does support it to upgrade to Windows 11. Now um, if you don't know what version of Windows 10 you are running um, in case you're unaware uh, what I would suggest is, is the easiest is would be just to head to your search and um, just type in and enter Winver hit enter and that will open up the little menu showing you what version of Windows uh, 10 you are running. And um, in my case, I'm running v version 21H2, the latest stable release. So if you see 21H1 for the version, then you, you need to start making a plan to upgrade uh, to uh, the latest version of Windows 10, which is 21H2, or as mentioned, if your system does support the hardware requirements, Windows 11. Now, if we just head over to um, the settings menu, updated security, Windows update, um, version uh, 21H2 would have been here in this section now for um, quite a while as an optional feature update. So um, if you want to upgrade, you can now just click on um, download and install and that will upgrade you to the latest version. And um, Microsoft keeps the feature updates um, optional until that version of Windows does reach its end of support and then they will start automatically basically upgrading you um, as that date gets closer to the end of support. So if you don't upgrade now you will find that possibly nearing that date the 13th of December they will just start automatically updating your device to version 21H2 as mentioned. Now um, in case you are wondering upgrading from version 21H1 to 21H2 isn't going to have any significant changes and um, it's really going to be like um, upgrading using a monthly cumulative update it's actually going to be using an enablement package which is a very small um, cumulative update and it should just take a couple of minutes so you're not going to sit for hours upgrading your machine it's a small cumulative update called an enablement package and um, there's really going to be no difference between 21H1 when it comes to features and the way the operating system works um, to um, upgrade into 21H2. Now, um, in case you're wondering, Windows 10 is supported until the 14th of October 2025. So um, you still have a couple of years if you want to hang around on Windows 10. And um, as many of you may know, and as I've been posting on the channel, we are also expecting the latest feature update for Windows 10 to be rolling out later on this year, possibly in October. Um, and or November and that will be version 22H2 and the same applies upgrading from 21H2 to 22H2 will be exactly the same as upgrading from 21H1 to 21H2 it's going to be using a small enablement package and not is and is not going to contain any significant changes at this stage according to Microsoft now um, if you um, want to use another method to upgrade you can always also head over to download Windows 10 and I'll leave this page in the description where you can always use the update assistant to upgrade you to the November 2021 update which is also referred to as 21H2 or you can use the media creation tool um, Windows 10 installation media creation tool to update as well and um, if you don't want to use uh, the Windows update option just as another alternative but just wanted to let you know if you are still running Windows 10 21H1 that um, that end of support is being reached on the uh, 13th of December this year, 2022. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.